If you guys are in another country, like I made a video about Canada. If you guys are in another country, you guys have to use the credit system that is possibly in your country. Now, if you're like this person here, um, you being in Ghana, you can only, I don't know what the credit system out there is in it is in Ghana. And you're going to have to figure that out there. Now, if you come here to United States, you can um, go ahead and get your I-10 number. And once you get that um, number, then you can use that number as a social security number and then get credit. I don't know if it's another way that you can get an I-10 number while you're still out there. Maybe that's the route you want to look into, figuring out how you get your I-10 number. That's very similar to like our social security number. Once you get one of those numbers, then you can go ahead and start building credit. Some people do like the CPNs. I'm not telling you should do that. I'm just telling you what I heard, like, you know, because I don't believe in that. But you're out in Ghana. So, you know, I don't think you're going to have a social security number here. So maybe you want to look into um, that. But CPNs here can get people in a lot of trouble. Um, I just don't know how much trouble you want to get in, but um you're going to keep watching these videos, but unless you got an ITIN number or a CPN, you're not going to be able to really get credit out here. Like, that's just being honest. So double check and try to see if there's a way you can get an ITIN number. And I say avoid a CP CPN, but look into it because I sometimes I hear a lot of people talking about it. I just don't have enough information and I'm personally scary. Like, I'm not going to do certain things. So I don't know how bad a CPN could possibly be, but I'm just the one to say, I'm just the person to say, hey, I got a social security number. I'm in, my, I'm in my early, early, early 30s. I just came through the door in 30s and I want to build up my name so that when I turn 40 and 50, I'm her. Like, my stuff is like in order but for somebody that you know they're not thinking about their future like that i see people building up their um cpns and stuff like that i just don't mess around with it but it can be something you can look into but that's just my honest truth on that and when i tell you guys about different things i'm not like promoting it i'm just I, that's that's why I think my YouTube channel is good because I get to like run my mouth and say, look, y'all, somebody got approved for this. Somebody did. I can like legally do it. Like, you know, so I want to always tell you guys like the real of what's going on. So unless you got like a social security number, I-10 number or CPN, like you're not going to be able to get credit. Like that's where you need to start figuring out how to get that a number like that but i believe being in ghana is going to be um very difficult to possibly get an i-10 number but look into it and the i-10 is i t i n um that's the number you need and cpn is c p n so google that watch youtube videos on that and hopefully that guides you in the right direction because i don't think you can get a social security number so you probably want to go that route and i'm not promoting it i'm just saying okay i'm not promoting i'm just saying okay I said, I don't know how bad it is. Um, I-10 number, I see a lot of people like coming from Mexico, coming from um, Puerto Rico, they're getting that number. Like, so I don't know if that's the number you can get to. I don't know if you're back and forth. So I'm just going to mind my business and then drop that on your lap. Just do what you got to do with that information. Hopefully it helps.